This morning we're on location at the Country Club of Lincoln where a very familiar story is played out here as it has across much of the entire country this year. We had a very early warm spring across much of the central and eastern half of the country. The annual bluegrass started to grow. It was a pretty easy winter, not a lot of winter kill. And then it got really cool in May and that bent grass just did not want to grow. And so a lot of superintendents looked down and said, wow, what a banner year for annual bluegrass. Let's get, kick up my, my PGR program to really try to, to knock out that annual bluegrass. So that's what they've done here. They've gone to a really aggressive primo trimmer program to knock that annual bluegrass down. Research uh, from, from Riker uh, et al. has really showed that if you use that product like Trim It and Primo, we can really suppress that, that annual bluegrass and, and encourage that, that bank grass to fill in and keep these greens you know, pretty clean of annual bluegrass. The one issue though we're seeing across the entire country is that we may have overdone it a little bit in terms of frequency of our PGR application, especially with that cool May. And so, you know, here they're on a program of, of Trim It and Primo at light rates every single week. And that might be a very successful program in the summertime when it's nice and warm, but when it was so cool in May, that PGR just wasn't breaking down. And so what happened was that PGR started to accumulate in that plant and we had to really suppress the growth, and I'm terming it over-regulation of, 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 of growth. This happens in our cool season greens, it also happens in our ultra dwarfs, where even those one ounce rates of Primo applied every week to four days leads to an accumulation of PGR in the plant and more of a, a bigger effective dose of product, and so we really start shutting down that plant. So what we see is the, the grass is starting to get a little bit of a patchy appearance, it looks a little bit sunken, it's slow to recover from traffic, and it's easily confused as disease. We've taken samples from these greens, sent them to a lab. Everything was clean. No root issues, no foliar pathogens, no other issues like that. And so it really leads us to think, maybe we have a little bit too much growth suppression. It's July. How are we still having too much growth suppression since May? Well, our research is showing that, you know, the impact of, of too much growth like regulator in May can linger a pretty long amount of time, especially the discoloration effect with these Class B products. And so the thing is, if we're having some discoloration, make sure it's not a, it is not a pathogen, send a sample into the lab. If you suspect that it's you know, too much growth regulator, just get off the growth regulators for a little bit and then let that, that product wear off, let that grass resume some normal growth. And when you see things start to recover, then you can go back on to a, a more appropriate program. When you're using a program, make sure you're using growing degree day models instead of calendar intervals. That's one of the reasons we, that most of the country is having this issue. They got really tight with their applications in May. Um, they were applying it too frequently. If we'd be using a growing degree day approach in an app like greenkeeperapp.com, we can keep track of those applications and then we can make sure we're not over applying to avoid situations like this in the future.